Don't let its sprawling farmlands and rural communities fool you. Clinton County is becoming quite the place for new development. Just today, an auto supplier announced it's building a plant that will create more than 100 new jobs. It's the second major development announcement since the summer, and as Susan L. Corey reports, the good news doesn't stop there. There isn't a lot going on inside this Clinton County warehouse, but soon that's changing as auto supplier Kirchhoff Van Robb moves in and starts making parts for the Chevy Camaro. Everybody is excited when you can create jobs. Everybody's happy. Including the Lansing Area Economic Partnership, which says this move will bring immediate benefits. 125 jobs, millions of dollars of rehabilitating a building um, out here in Watertown Township, and they're going to be a major supplier to the GM projects here. It's a trend that starts with General Motors trying to bring suppliers closer to its assembly plants. Clearly a lot of suppliers are coming here anticipating the Grand River assembly plant and certain products, the Camaro coming over. GM's investment and the automotive investment here in Michigan and here in the Lansing area has clearly turned a corner that's, I think, got a bright future. And you can add another 420 jobs to that since this site at the southwest corner of Grand River and Ingersoll is where Challenge Manufacturing is building a new plant. Good jobs right close to home. It's, it's, it's a win for everybody. And there may be more wins down the road since township manager Jennifer Tubbs says more is happening with another manufacturer. I would imagine that we will probably have another announcement um, beginning of the year. But there's still a lot of room for expansion. These plants are not a given and it's a big mistake for our region to think that these plants are a given. We have to continue to work hard. In Clinton County, Susan L. Corey, Fox 47 News. Kirchhoff Van Robb says it will start making parts for the Camaro in October. It also plans on expanding production to the next generation Chevy Traverse.